Hey everybody, welcome back to the Light Side Music Reactions. Today we've got another new artist for the channel. This one uh, isn't a professional artist, but it's a uh, family called the Marsh Family. Uh, they have a YouTube channel, and I I saw uh, a while back one of their videos, and basically they take songs and do parodies of them, and it's the whole family doing it together. And um, this is my first time seeing this one. Uh, they're doing a parody of the Meatloaf song, uh, I Would Do Anything for Love, But I Won't Do That. And those of you that are familiar with Meatloaf, uh, of course, he's, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and read to you a little bit of what their description says about him. Uh, this is our tribute to the larger-than-life legends of music, entertainment, film, and Wagnerian rock opera who tragically passed away during the pandemic, Jim Steinman and Meatloaf. And, of course, Meatloaf is the singer, uh, uh, Marvin Lee Aday is his real name. Uh, he's also a great actor. Uh, he was in one of my favorite movies, uh, was the Steve Martin movie, Leap of Faith. And uh, Meatloaf was a supporting actor in that. If you ever get a chance to check it out, it's a great movie, uh, Leap of Faith, starring Steve Martin. Um, but uh, anyway, um, Jim Steinman was the songwriter who wrote, uh, as far as I know, all of Meatloaf's songs. They collaborated Ever since they first, you know, since he first hit the scene, and uh, this song was no different. Uh, I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that. And this was originally recorded in 1993 and featured on his album "Bad Out of Hell 2: Back into Hell," which was his basically reunion, uh, his comeback. Uh, you know, he was big in the 70s and the 80s, and then uh, kind of uh, fell along the wayside. And then uh, had this big uh, comeback in the, I guess it says here, uh, 1993 with this album. And uh, so uh, you've heard it on the radio, I'm sure. And uh, so they did their parody of this. And uh, their parody is called, All the Prices Have Gone Up, But We Can't Pay That. And so uh, in the spirit of everything going on right now with the economy the way it is, it's uh, just something universal that we're all seeing around us. Uh, if you uh, watch my weekend uh, videos, uh, you know, through the week, we do these videos here, the uh, uh, music reactions. And then on Sunday afternoons, we do uh, food reviews and mukbang. And uh, you can see, if you watch those videos, when I tell you the prices of this food, how fast food and just food in general, and not just food, but prices all around have just skyrocketed in the past couple of years. And uh, so with the inflation and the economy the way it is, uh, everybody can relate to this song. So uh, I'm going to check this out for the first time. I saw it pop up in my feed, and I was like, I want to check this out. And I, I played like the first three seconds of it, literally. And I said, wait a minute, no, I'm going to react to this on video uh, just in case. Uh, this is my first time, I think, on this channel reacting to uh, something that isn't professionally done, but is, uh, you know, just from uh, some YouTubers uh, doing their own parody sort of little thing. Uh, we've had some indie artists on here, uh, but this is a first of its kind. So uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and check us out. This is the Marsh family singing All the Prices Have Gone Up. And uh, as always, when you're done here, uh, head over to the link in the description and check out their original video. Okay, so they're recording this live. That's cool. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, uh, if, if, if you're watching the video, you can see it's the father, the mother, and the four children. Uh, looks like they were stair stepping down in the age group, uh, just kind of like with me and my two brothers. You can see the, the age progression by just our height. But you got the, the oldest son, then the next boy, and then the two daughters. Uh, which are the youngest. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so that's the oldest son. Wow. Now, they've got really good voices. I'm impressed. Uh, the last time I heard them, I don't think their voices were quite this developed, the children. Uh, the oldest son right there, 
nice sound of voice. That second one, though, um, just really standing out as really good vocals he's got there. Okay, so that was the father and the two girls. Now the mother's coming in. Okay, <laughs> I, this is going to be funny, uh, but one of the lines in there that stands out to me, government help is not enough. Oh, man, don't get me started. Um, yeah, we need to learn some lessons from this. Uh, when the government says they're here to help, you know, I think it was Ronald Reagan once said uh, the, uh, uh, how many words is that? I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Nine words. Uh, he said that those are the, the scariest nine words in the English language. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. <laughs> because normally when the government steps in and tries to help, they're going to make things worse. And that's not just a party affiliation thing. That's uh, government in general. And uh, it's not just in the United States. Apparently these guys are from the United Kingdom. And uh, they're seeing the same thing. Government's try stepping in trying to help. And uh, a lot of times it doesn't help. It just makes things worse. Um, they're kind of indicating here in the lyrics that... Uh, uh, it is helping, but it's not enough. Uh, I would beg to differ, uh, at least here in the United States. When the government steps in and tries to help, um, it's just hurting. And for more ways than one. Number one, when the government steps in and gives you gov what they call government money, there's no such thing as government money. No such thing as free money. When you get that tax refund at the end of the year after working uh, all year and paying in taxes... That's not free money coming from the government. That's money that the government already took from you out of your paycheck. And now it's giving back to you just a little bit of it. And so when you get that tax refund from your pay, uh, you know, when you file your taxes, that's not the government giving you money. That's them where they already took a bunch of your money and they're giving you a little bit of it back, but keeping most of it and then spending it on their pet projects. And I wouldn't mind as much if those went to uh, worthwhile projects, things that the government was intended to, you know, from the Constitution wise and from our founding fathers, the way they originally intended taxes to be set up, if it went to infrastructure and uh, national security and national defense and stuff like that, stuff that the government is intended to provide for, um, then I wouldn't mind it as much. But there's so many pet projects that they come out with that, frankly, are unconstitutional that uh, you are know, supporting all these social social projects and stuff that the government has no business being involved in. And I'm not saying that those are bad causes. Uh, a lot of them are great causes. Uh, you know, welfare, for example. But those are, that's not the role of the government to provide that. That's the role of local charities. Uh, you know, it's something that you give freely. You know, in the Bible, it talks about, uh, you know, God loves a cheerful giver, and uh, he wants you to give from your heart and not out of compulsion. And that's when you're talking about the church specifically, but it's the same way with the government, with your taxes. Uh, the government uh, should be taking taxes. Uh, this is a whole new debate. They should be t t doing it fairly. And what that means isn't, uh, you know, give uh, one person pays 10% tax, next person pays 20% tax, and then big corporations, they might pay 50 or 60% tax. That's not fair. I mean, they're, uh, you, you just set a straight, flat amount. You say, if tax is going to be 10%, then it's 10% straight across. If it's 20%, it's 20% straight across. If you make a dollar and you pay 10%, that's 10 cents. All you have to pay is 10 cents on that dollar. If you make $100, you pay $10. You're paying more than the guy that only paid 10 cents, but it's the flat rate. That is what is fair and taxes, and that bugs me no end to hear people in in politics saying that the the rich don't pay their fair share. Uh, they pay, frankly, they pay way, way, way more than their fair share because the government continues to steal from them and then redistribute it to their own pet projects or whatever they want to support. 
that is in line with whatever they want to, to support. That's not uh, capitalism. That's not the American way. That's socialism. And it's borderline communism. And it's dangerous in my estimation. But anyway, uh, I don't want to ramble too much on that. Uh, but that's basically it in a nutshell, taxes. Um, but uh, government stepping in and paying for all these things, like, uh, for example, talking about COVID right now during the, the pandemic, they had these government programs where they uh, you know, gave uh, money to uh, certain groups, certain people. Uh, and, uh, you know, some people said, well, that helped a little bit, but it's not enough, just like they're saying here in the song. Um, but once again, uh, that's not the government's money to give give out like that. That belongs to the people that paid the taxes, and it's supposed to go to things that benefit the entire country and not just specific portions of the population. And so, uh, yeah, government stepping in and trying to help nine times out of ten or ninety nine times out of a hundred, it's not helping; it's hurting. <laughs> Gas prices. Okay, a little harmony from the girls. That's good. Maybe we're lazy, should get another job or two. No savings. Inflation. I'm really liking the harmonies in here. Um, these guys are very good at that. You know, not just, you know, a lot of times you get these uh, family groups, very amateurish, and everybody's singing the lead. Everybody's just singing the melody. Not these guys. These guys are splitting it up into parts. Uh, you know, the, uh, at the beginning, they took share, turns sharing the lead, you know, going back and forth. One will sing the lead, and then the next will take over with the melody, and the next will take over with the melody. Now they're getting to the point to where they're doing it as a group, and they're putting the harmonies into it. Very well done. I'm I'm liking this. the The lyrics a little bit r r risky and at some points, <laughs> but I, I it, it's it's honest. I got to give them that. It's honest. Nice harmonies. Yep. Not even that anymore. Not even that more. Not even that anymore. See, they recorded this in uh, 2022. April 14th is when they released this of last year. Um, but uh, as I said earlier, uh, fast food prices have skyrocketed since then, since they released this video. And so uh, they're saying that, uh, you know, you can't buy healthy food from the store because the prices have gone up. Uh, you have to rely on the junk food. And historically, that's the way it's always been. One of the reasons why junk food and fast food is so compelling is because it's fast, it's easy to get, and it's cheaper. And it's not the healthiest thing, but it's cheap and it's fast. Not anymore. It's not cheap anymore. You pay a fortune <laughs> in fast food just the way you do with gasoline, just the way you do with uh, the grocery store, and you go home and prepare you know, healthy meals on your own. 
a lot of people are going to that uh, that option now and preparing their meals at home, uh, you know, because they can't afford the fast food going up. And so uh, it's gone beyond even when they recorded this. Uh, they're saying that they, they're having to go to the fast food more and rely on that. You can't even do that anymore because of the prices of fast food going up. That's the youngest one they're singing. You hear that voice? Oh, a dig on Russia. <laughs> okay, I don't know what P&O is. That must be a UK thing. I was selling their stuff on eBay. Nobody can afford to. Solar power. Okay, uh, reference to solar power right there. Um, you know, solar uh, the new technologies are great, solar and wind, uh, but they're not nearly enough. Uh, the technology is great when it's work, but it's just like anything else. Uh, it it it's horrible when it fails. I've I've said that so much about my computer, about my cell phone. It's great when it works. Uh, Facebook, uh, you know, uh, social media. Um, you know, I, I've been having a lot of problems recently where I'll text somebody and then I, I won't get a reply. And then, uh, you know, I'll check back with them later. I was like, yeah, I've been trying to get a hold of you. He's like, yeah, I got your message. I replied immediately. And I go and look through my texts that I received and there's no response there. So technology, you know, it's great when it works, but when it doesn't work, it, it, it's a pain in the butt. And, uh, so they're talking about that a little bit here about, uh, yeah, what was the actual reference? Oh, about energy. About energy. Cuddle up, turn the heating down, or do you go? You're waiting for solar power. Uh, the the technology isn't ready for solar and wind. Uh, you can't get rid of fossil fuels. Uh, you know, uh, they're talking about going to electric. You know, banning gas engines and vehicles. And go into electric vehicles. Well, where do you think the electricity comes from? It comes from coal. It comes from uh, these fossil fuels that creates the electricity. And so you're you're not. It, it, it's insane. Uh, I'm. Don't get me started. Let's get back into this. Basically, wind and solar, they're good supplements, but they're not, they'll never replace uh, fossil fuels. I'll just leave it at that. Been there. <laughs> oh no it didn't inflation to turn around it's going to take some major changes major changes 
because the government just keeps doing the same thing over and over. It's the very definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting something different. And so if you want to see some changes, we're going to have to make some major changes in our government and our leadership uh, to, to turn this economy around. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> all right dedicated to the inimitable legend legends meatloaf and jim steinman having trouble reading the the font on that okay so once again that's the marsh family uh uh if you enjoyed my reaction hit the like button comment down below uh give me some recommendations on some content you'd like me to check out specifically music um, for my music reactions. You can name the artist and the song title, or if you think of something like this, you know, something uh, some YouTubers put out that's entertaining, it's music-focused, um, I'll check those out too. Um, and if I react to uh, your suggestion, I'll give you a shout-out. And anyway, once you're done doing all that, the like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, head over to the description, or the, the link in the description, to the Marsh family's video check out their video the way they you can see it's all one cut performed live so it's got the little flubs and mix-ups and mistakes in it and i think that that adds to the the uh uh the charm of these types of videos and so uh yeah give them some support subscribe to their channel for more content like that over there and uh come back here for some more light side music reactions See you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.